question four. So this question is about uh, transition metals and the metals ion. Uh, part A. Explain why transition elements uh, form complex ion. Only one reason. Uh, they must have uh, empty orbitals. So with these empty orbitals, then can it can uh, gains or accommodates the lone pair from others from the ligand. So first, empty orbitals must be there. Then it can. Uh, accommodates the lone pair okay, from the ligands and form dative bond. Part B. Cobalt 2 ions uh, form complex ion G. Okay, each G ion contains two cobalt ions, uh, both of which are octahedrally coordinated. Each G ion contains uh, one oxygen molecule which donates uh, one pair of electrons to each cobalt. And one NH2 negative ion, okay, this species got two lone pair, uh, which donates one lone pair of electrons to each cobalt uh, ion 2. The remaining li uh, ligands are ammonia molecules. Uh, deduce the formula of the complex ion G includes its overall charge. Uh, okay, I, I try to suggest uh, the, the structures, uh, how it looks like. Uh, something like this, uh, what I can say is, uh, the cobalt uh, is octahedral geometry. Um, so, it has two linkage. So, one is oxygen, one is uh, NH2. So, uh, and uh, the, the rest, they are all ammonia. Uh, so this is this one uh, will fit the description. Uh, this is how it looks like. And uh, first we need to know the charge as well. Okay, cobalt is uh, this one is uh, positive two, and cobalt here also positive two. So total is positive four, but here is uh, uh, because this one NH two uh, is uh, negative. So uh, overall charge. Therefore, it will be three positive. So what you need to uh, suggest uh, means the formula of the complex ion is just this one: uh, two cobalt and this uh, this uh, oxygen, NH two, and uh, this is the key. Uh, so because we already know, right? So these two are linkage. The rest all ammonia. So there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it will be eight ammoniums. So overall charge is three positive. Okay, so you just suggest this uh, formula G. Part two. The D orbitals uh, of the cobalt two ions present in the complex ion are split. Uh, so state the numbers of D orbitals that are at higher energies level and the numbers of D orbitals that are at lower energies level. Okay, this is this we call D D splitting. Uh, when the three D orbitals uh, is uh, um, form uh, this uh, dative bond, right? Or when the ligand approach the metal cation, so uh, the two orbitals will experience more repulsion. So uh, these two actually uh, we call D Z square D X square Y square. Uh, of course, you no need to know the name. Uh, so there will there will be two orbitals that experience more repulsion when the ligand approach to form the active one. So it will go higher energy level. And there will be another three which uh, experience less repulsion will be lower than the two orbitals. Uh, so what you need to put is just two at higher energy level and three at lower energy level. That's all. Okay, part three, cobalt two ions form a different complex ion M. Okay, each M ions contains two cobalt ions, okay, both of which are octahedrally coordinated as well. But the ligands are different. Huh? When ligands different, uh, so you need to understand, the delta E here will different, might be larger, or might be smaller, depends. So when the delta E different, means the DD splitting, the delta E is different, 
means uh, it will absorb different wavelength. Uh, so this is what you need to put in. Uh, so it just because now the DD splitting is different, delta E is different. So the wavelength, uh, because we know that delta E is uh, equal to HV, uh, H is a Planck constant, V is the, the frequency. Uh, so uh, therefore we know that uh, the frequency or the wavelength will be different. Uh, so what you need to explain is this one. Uh, different ligands will cause the delta E different or the DD energy gap different. Therefore, different wavelength from visible light okay, will be absorbed. Then we will see different color. Okay, part C. Cadmium forms complex ion X. So with this uh, four ammonia. Uh, when the solutions containing the cyanide ion is added to the aqueous solution of X, a ligand exchange happens. Okay, form a complex ion Y. So just now it's X, now the new complex ion is Y, which contains no ammonia ligand and no H2O ligand. So means all the ammonia has been substituted or has been exchanged um, with cyanide. So Y is a much higher concentration in the mixture than X, means uh, the this uh, complex with cyanide is much stable, so it's formed more. Okay, the oxidation state and the coordination number of cadmium uh, do not change. Coordination still four. Okay, because here the coordination is four, uh, four ligands, and the cadmium is still two positive. Right. Uh, therefore, write any ionic equations for this reaction. So very easy. Uh, so you just need to okay, put the, the cadmium with the ammonia, li, uh, this, uh, the ligand, this complex, um, plus 4 cyanide, then it will form this uh, new complex ion. Okay, make sure you put the 4 cyanide in, and uh, the charge is important, yeah? because the cadmium is uh, 2, two positive, cyanide is negative, 4 cyanide means uh, it's uh, 4 negative. So uh, 2 positive and 4 negative, then overall you get uh, 2 negative. Uh, so after that, uh, you just put four ammonia. Okay, all the ammonia in the previous uh, complex ion it has been exchanged or substituted. Part two, cadmium form complex Z ion, another new complex, uh, in the same oxidation state. Okay, still positive two, and uh, with the same coordination number, it's still four, uh, uh, as in X. All the ligands in the Z. Are correct so now it's formed this uh, cadmium with four correct so it will form this complex ion okay when the sodium chloride is added to the solution X so it will produce this one okay now write the three cadmium complex okay, XYZ in order uh, of increasing stability constant Yeah, before that, um, okay, one, one thing is missing out. Uh, after the sodium chloride added, okay, uh, is formed the uh, this complex ion Z. Okay, Z very little, very little means uh, it's less stable, form less. So means that the K step is uh, lowest. Uh, so now, uh, you need to put the smallest value of K step to the largest value, okay? Because the complex ion Z is uh, the very little. So therefore, the K step must be very small. So you just put the this uh, the complex ion uh, this uh, Z right here, and uh, after that you put the most stable one, right? So the one with the cyanide. So complex ion uh, Y, this one. Uh, so then here uh, you just put the complex ion X. Uh, so you just follow this uh, this sequence. Okay, D. Uh, ethane dioid ions uh, forms a complex uh, with this uh, tra with transition uh, elements ion. The concentration of this uh, ethane dioid uh, ion uh, 
can be found by reactions of acid uh, 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 these uh, dichromate ions. And uh, these uh, ethane diode ions okay, will be protonated to form this dicarboxylic acid. Uh, common name we call uh, oxalic acid or ethane diode acid. Okay, so uh, which oxidize by this uh, uh, dichromate ion? Okay, the half equations are shown. Okay, this is the dichromate ion in acidic condition. Um, so, and this is the CO2 with the, this uh, ethane diuric ion. Part 1. Construct an equation for the reactions between the acidified okay, dichromate uh, ion and this uh, dicarboxylic acid. Uh, so first, you need to uh, understand what they're asking uh, because uh, it says that uh, which are oxidized by this dichromate means uh, the dichromate must get reduced, must gain electron. Means this dicarboxylic acid must form CO2, so must reverse. Uh, so this is the one that you must understand. The statements telling us like this. So means this one stay and this, this uh, equation reversed. So eventually you get this. This are. Uh, and we need to make sure the electrons number same. Here uh, only two electrons. So we need to times three. Uh, so reverse and times three will get this. Okay, so combine this equation and this equation. So you get this. So this one is quite easy. Um, now part two. A twenty-five cm cube sample of solutions uh, of so, uh, this uh, uh, sodium uh, ethane diuate uh, reacts with exactly sixteen point two cm cube of an acidified solution of zero point zero five mole per dm cube potassium dichromate. Okay, calculate the concentration of the solutions of this uh, sodium ethane diode. Okay, so very easy. First, you need to, uh, of course, use this volume and this concentration to get the most of the dichromate ion. Okay, so you use uh, MV over 1000, uh, 0 0.05 times 16.2 uh, over 1000, you get this mole. Uh, after that, uh, you have to use the mole ratio. Uh, so it's 1 to 3 mole. So the uh, most of uh, ethane diode ion will be three times. So means this mole times three, so you get this uh, two point four three times ten power negative three moles. So therefore, the concentration of this ethane diode uh, ion will be uh, two point four three times ten power negative three. Uh, this is more. Uh, dm cube. Uh, follow this, because it's twenty five cm cube means uh, zero point zero two five dm cube. Uh, so you get 0 0.0972 mole per dm cube. So this is a concentration of the salt. Okay, that's all. Thank you.